In this video, we understand what is meant by encryption and look at how to define it. We also become familiar with the Caesar cipher. Encryption is the process of encoding a message so it can be read only by the sender and the intended recipient. Encryption has been around for as long as we've been producing written communications. So the absolute basics of encryption is to use some type of cipher of some description to turn a plain text, human readable message into unreadable cipher text. One of the simplest methods of encryption is known as symmetric encryption. A single cipher key is used to both encrypt and decrypt a message. When using this method, both parties need to know the cipher key and both need to keep it secret. The same cipher key can be used multiple times. Alternatively, a unique cipher key can be generated each time in an attempt to make it harder to crack. However, with symmetric encryption, there is always a danger that a message can be cracked by either interception of the cipher key or duplication of the cipher key production process to require a copy of the cipher key. Because of this, systems that send or receive sensitive information like payment card details use far more secure methods of encryption, known as asymmetric encryption. So let's look at some encryption term examples. Encryption, the process of encoding a message so it can be read only by the sender and the intended recipient. Plain text, the original data or message. Cipher, the encryption method or algorithm. Cipher text, the encrypted data. One of the first forms of encryption was the Caesar cipher, which replaces each letter of the alphabet with another letter a fixed distance away from the original. To decrypt the message, the recipient needs to know how many places the alphabet has been shifted by, and this is known as the key. If the recipient knows the key, they can decrypt the message. Of course, this sort of encryption is easy to crack even without the key. The ultimate aim of encryption is always to make the original message impossible to crack without the key. Different ciphers offer different levels of security. The Caesar cipher is an example of an incredibly poor cipher. In other words, it's very easy to crack. On the other end of the spectrum is the Vernum cipher, which, if implemented correctly, offers perfect security. And we'll look at this particular cipher in the next video. All other ciphers fall somewhere between these two. You will be assessed on the two ciphers covered in these videos, but other ciphers may be used to assess your understanding of the principles involved. And these will be explained and will be similar in terms of complexity. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is meant by the term cipher, plain text, ciphertext and encryption? And what is the Caesar cipher and how does it work? 